everyone said. Uh, TSA reported that Monday was the busiest air travel day they have seen since February 2020, with more than 2.6 million passengers. And this coming weekend, we're expecting to see levels we haven't seen since before the pandemic. FAA is projecting more than 51,000 flights on Thursday alone. This weekend will be a test of the system. Uh, and I think all of us have airline stories from last summer and the disruptions that took place then. Cancellation and delay rates were at unacceptable proportions last year. And it's important that that not happen again. So if you basically what I, what I, the way I'd explain it is uh, this is God, this is the airlines, this is us, right? <laughs> and, um, and by the way, within that NAS number, only some of that in turn is staffing. So that's not to minimize the, to any, anything that's under our control we're going to work and we're going to own. Um, but I want, I want to say this cautiously. We are seeing early and preliminary indications that the level of severe runway incursions is coming closer to the norm. But I think during that uh, um, cluster of incursions that we saw early this year, we decided to look at this a new way, where in the same way that if there were to be an incident, or a crash, we would uh, act immediately to learn everything we can about how to make sure it can't happen again. We treat close calls in more the same way. Uh, I think that's helping. The emphasis so far, uh, as I understand in the forum, has been around getting back to basics, around situational awareness. This is also what's driving a lot of the investments that we're making. Obviously a longer term solution, but sometimes the best technology is concrete, and that's why some of what you're seeing are the construction of these end around taxiways.